Hopefully you all have had a chance to look at the carolers that I made. As I promised in that video, I was gonna make a few more crafts using these pegs. So today I'm doing a spring craft, something you can do right away. And it's these really cute little bunnies. So to get started on this craft, you'll need the wooden um, pegs again. Like I said, I got these on clearance at Lowe's, so I'm not sure if it was a seasonal thing or if they sell them all the time, but I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. I'm using uh, two colors. I'm mixing my pink with my white because my pink was a little bit too bright and I wanted a really uh, light pink for the bunnies. So to, I'm pink or purple or yellow, whatever color you wanna make your bunnies. The tacky glue, fabric scissors, a uh, thin light pink if you're making your bunnies pink, uh, satin ribbon, paintbrush, a very fine uh, marker, and I'm using uh, blush for the bunnies. And then whatever you want to put around them, I am using pearls that I got at the dollar store. And I also had these floral uh, little flower sequins. So whatever you want to use um, around the waist. A tool, I'm using a little bit darker shade than the actual bunny itself. And then the same color as them in felt for the ears. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is you want to um, I just did a paper, uh, stencil again. I just figured out what size, um, ear I wanted and I cut a little paper stencil so that I could draw a whole bunch on my felt and then I cut them out. So what I'm going to do is with my clothespins, I'm going to take the tacky glue and I'm just going to glue along the edge there. And then I'm gonna fold it in half so that it comes together. And then I'm gonna take my clothespin and just pin it. So that way it just can sit there and dry and I don't have to worry about that. So that should be one of your first steps so that it has the chance to dry before you um, have to glue them on to your bunny. So the second thing you wanna do is go ahead and paint your um, pegs. So I painted mine uh, solid pink. And then the other thing I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, is I um, chose to put little um, tails on the back. So I'm using little white pom-poms. And then, um, so to do this, uh, the another thing that you want to make is her hair bow. And her hair bow, all I did was cut a thin strip of the tool, um, longer than what you need it. It's a little bit of a hassle to tie, but you basically just form two rabbit ears and tie that into a knot. Sometimes it's hard to see where your tool is. Sometimes it takes me a little bit of time, but what you wanna do is you just wanna tie this into a bow. And I find that making the two rabbit ears and then doing that is the easiest way. And pull it into a bow like so. And then you just wanna adjust it. Keep pulling it down until you get it to the size that you want it. And then you'll wanna pull it tight. So you want it to be pretty small. And you'll notice I have a lot of extra there. I do that because you see how difficult it was to tie it into a bow you're not gonna be able to tie it with a small amount. So you're just gonna cut that off after you're done. So you just wanna make the bow the size that you want it like that, and then just cut off the extra. So you're gonna do the same thing with your satin ribbon. You're gonna um, tie that into a bow like so, and you're gonna make that small enough to be on the back of the bunny. So you just wanna, and then just tie it tight and then cut it off. Now this one, I cut the ribbon at an angle on both sides, so it's like so. So now I'm cutting off a piece of tool that's gonna wrap around the bunny. Now as our Christmas tree 
um, trees that we had made before, if you recall. This is circular, and as you notice, it bunches up here. So in order to get it to fit nicely, all you have to do is cut it at a semicircle. So just cut it into a semicircle like so, so that it is like that. And then that way it wraps around your bunny and it's nice and tight, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a little extra off, leave some extra on the bottom and leave some extra in the back. And I'm gonna run a line of glue around here and then just glue it and then I will trim it exact so that way it's exact to the bunny. So basically take your tacky glue and you're just gonna run a circle of glue around where you want her little dress to fit. Like so. And then you're just going to place your tool over it like so. And then just push it down. So once you've glued it around, trim the back, trim the bottom so it sits exact. Now you're ready to glue all your stuff on. So the first thing I'm going to glue on are the ears. So this is how the ears should look once they've dried. And I'm going to use a little hot glue for the ears just because um, I don't want it to fall off. And it's such a small little surface there. So we're going to hot glue that and then the rest you can use tacky glue. Next thing you want to do is draw your face on. And I'm purposely making my eyes a little uneven because I like, um, I like that look. And sometimes when you're dealing with um, marking over paint, Sometimes you need a piece of paper there just to get your marker going again because um, sometimes it picks up some of the paint. For this one, I'm doing the flowers. So just right where your tool meets the top of your the bunny, you just want to put some glue dots down and just glue your whatever decoration you're using right at that edge so it covers the edge. Now you could stop there, but what I've decided to do, because I have these little tiny beads, is I'm just gonna add a bead to the center of each flower. So again, just a little tiny drop of glue, and then I'm just putting a bead right in the center of each one. I forgot to mention, leave a spot in the back um, because that's where the bow is gonna go. So you want to leave that and that's where you're going to glue your bow. So the last two things you have is the bow. Um, you could also use a flower. I really wanted to use flowers, but I couldn't find any small enough that made it work. So I used this bow instead and I thought it looked cute. So you wanna add the bow to your ear. I put mine on the side. And then you wanna add your tail to the back, right below the bow. Like so. So the last thing you wanna do is take a Q-tip and an old blush that you have and I just roll it on each side to make little rosy cheeks. And then the other thing that I did was I took my darker color and I just put some in her ear to make her ear have a little contrast. 
So I really love how these little bunnies turned out and perfect just in time for Easter. So if this is your first time watching, welcome, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna receive future notification of posts, hit the bell. And if you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.